Hey there, Becky here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to customize the font style for an accordion block in your Squarespace website. Now at the time of recording this, if all you want to do is have the accordion block title or description match a heading or paragraph font style already existing on your Squarespace website, you don't need custom code. Hop into the design tab for that accordion block and you can customize it there. But let's say you want to use a custom font. For that, you're going to need some custom CSS, and that's exactly what I'll teach you in this video. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so I can teach you how to set this up on your own Squarespace website, step by super simple step. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and here we have an accordion block and all the selectors we're going to use to change it. Now, to add this custom CSS to our website, we'll select Website and then Website Tools, and we'll click into custom CSS. Here's where we'll add our code. This very first item right here will change anything in the entire accordion. Let's say we want to change the color. I'll open up a curly bracket and I'll say color red. And now all of the font in that accordion will become red. We can also say font family serif and we'll all change to a serif font. And let's go ahead and say font size to REM. And now everything is the same size in that serif font and a bright red. So what we've done here is said take any accordion item and this asterisk says anything in that accordion that can have these properties applied to it, go ahead and go for it. Now let's say we only want to apply this to the accordion item title. I'm going to replace this first part of my code with accordion item title. And you notice now we're getting the color red, the font family serif, and we change the font size. I do want to mention, you can change font size in the editor, and I strongly recommend doing that. But if you're working in custom CSS with the font, you're already right there. You can also add it manually to your CSS file. Totally up to you. The last selector we had here was for the description. I'll go ahead and grab this. And if we say accordion item description, color red, font family serif, font size 2 REM, just the description inside these accordion items will change. Now we used color font family, and font size to make these changes, I have a free guide available at insidethesquare.co forward slash text guide. That will take you to my font and text properties guide where I get into some more details about how each one of these works with custom CSS. So definitely check that out. But again, these selectors we use today for accordion item, accordion item title, and accordion item description are listed in the description of this video. So you can copy and paste those and customize them to be uniquely yours. Whatever you decide to change, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes I just shared with you and links to additional resources, including that free font and text properties guide that I created to share with you. That includes all the properties that I use for customizing my own Squarespace website with code. So definitely check that out. InsideTheSquare.co forward slash text guide. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, then you are going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I've created a Notion database to hold all of the selectors for everything I want to modify on a Squarespace website. I've packed it with pro tips and custom code snippets that you can use to make your Squarespace website uniquely yours. Get access to this game-changing database at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.